Hey, what's up, guys? So something very interesting has happened, and I didn't think it would happen. Uh, really, and it's taken me by surprise. But the bait worm market has completely been shattered. You can see they've all been bought up, and no one has put anything up here for sale. We are on the Enla auction house here, so absolutely nothing on the auction house, and also this has caused the fish prices to jump up dramatically with people expecting the uh, the Dawn Lake Light Essence to jump up in price. And you'll notice that those have already jumped up here to around 8 gold and 50 silver. So a nice price hike for the last couple days. I think it jumped up about 2 gold in those last couple days with the anticipation. So here we have someone, and there we go, uh, a whole bunch of worms at 3 silver, which I'm not even sure if that's a good price, but went ahead and bought that just because it popped up. Um, I think it's a good price. With nothing on the auction house right here, you really set the price at whatever the heck you want. And with the price of fish, we'll take a look here at fish. Fish have gone up pretty significantly on the server. So we have the cheapest fish is actually, last I checked, at 7 silver. So for a crappy fish, is The cheapest one is 7 silver and 70 bronze right there uh, for the, the absolute crappiest fish. And then going up further, you'll see it gets up to 10 and 11 after a few pages. So the fish price has got very, very expensive. To make a Dawn Lake Essence, you need 100 of those crappy fishes. Or you can go ahead and take tw uh, 20 of these green fishes. And the green fishes, again, now are really, really expensive as well. They're at 60 silver each as the cheapest one. Oh, no, that's right. So they're at 33 silver at the cheapest one, excuse me. So this still is very, very expensive. Uh, it's going to cost you around 6 gold and 60 silver to create one of those Dawn Lake Essence. If you can even gather all of them. So we buy all the octopus and we'd be able to make one uh, Dawn Lake Essence, one of these guys right here. And as you go down, you can see 35 take a look in two pages over. So two pages over, we're already at around 40. So the prices are jumping up pretty significantly. Then we'll take a look here at the rare fish. And now these guys, the cheapest blue fish out there, which is the rare quality, is two gold. And the reason they're so expensive is because you only need three of them to actually make that Dawn Lake Light Essence. So again, the the cheapest way to make them is to take the blue fish and buy those guys up and it costs you six right now to create a uh, Dawn Lake Light Essence. So a great, great value here for fishermen if you can get worms cheaply. You can go and raise your fishing proficiency and then you can also catch a lot of fish and these fish now are going to be extremely valuable as you can see. We're going to go take a look at the other auction house as well. You can convert those fishes, and you can see the cheapest now, Dawn Lake Light Essence, is at eight or nine gold. So, if we were to buy those fishes up, we could make a three gold profit, um, approximately, by just combining them and then turning them into the Dawn Lake Light Essence. So, we'll actually probably go ahead and do that, at least for some of the blue fishes, because you can see we have a couple blue fishes in here already. I stocked up a little bit there, just in case. So this is the Dawn Lake Light Essence. A few of them up here. And the reason this is going up is because you actually need this to make the regrade scrolls. So all this stuff is really tied and connected together to the new regrade scrolls and Moon Point, Sun Point Market. And with the, the boxes coming out tomorrow, uh, people have jumped on the huge fish bandwagon, bought everything up. So definitely check your servers. You can make money on bait worms, which means you can con conversely make uh, probably a pretty good profit actually making and using the seed bundles because that's where you get bait worms is you get any seed bundle has a chance to give you a certain amount of bait worms in them. Uh, if I recall correctly, it's around five to like eight bait worms per seed bundle. So you can go ahead and plant those and then when you harvest them, you'll get not only these materials, like the cucumber or the carrot, but you'll also get some bait worms. So I'm going to pick up a couple of those blue fishes. 
and then we're going to hop over to a different server. Uh, we'll go over to Easy Server and see Easy I what the prices are over there. So you know, pick up anything here that's at two gold, and you can see there's only one fish that was at two gold. So that's going to be about it for us. It's, we're on the easy server right now, and it looks like there could be a big money play here for bait worms on this server. As you can see, they're only 18 copper each, and there's a whole bunch of quantity up here. So I always look for items that are really, really cheap, because then that means they have a massive room for growth. And with the extra added incentive to start fishing to get those Dawn Lake Essence, this could be a big play. Even if it only goes up to one silver each, you're going to be making like five times your money on this. And on the other server, there was none for sale. And someone put some up for three. We snagged it right away. Uh, attempting to sell those guys for 25 silver each on that server. We'll see how that goes. But this seems to be a great money-making potential opportunity here. Because again, even if it goes up just a little bit, goes up to like 35 or 36, you doubled your profit and you have a huge amount of these things and they're all fairly cheap. So it doesn't look like anyone has kind of monopolized this market yet or predicted that this market was going to go up in this server. So this could be something very, very, I mean, it's cheap. You, I could spend probably 20 gold and buy up a ton of these fish or these bait worms. You see, this is only one gold, that's like two gold, it's two gold. Like 20 gold that I can have over probably 10,000 bait worms. Um, and if it, again, if it goes up, you're going to be sitting on a jackpot. And if it doesn't, you lost 20 or 30 gold. So this will definitely be something I will pick up. And you can see, we'll probably buy them up until uh, probably close to the, uh, the one copper or one silver. And you don't even have to have them in your inventory. You can just purchase them and then put them in your mailbox. Don't take them out of your mailbox, and it won't clog up your inventory space. So we're going to go ahead and buy up a whole bunch of these guys. Get a very, very cheap and speculative investment item. And if these do go up, you have a nice stockpile of items ready to sell. Of course, it will be kind of hard to sell 20,000 bait worms, but hey, I mean, even if you only sell a thousand of them at like five or six times each, you're going to be making a good profit, or maybe breaking even, and then have a whole shitload of extra bait worms that you can sell at a reduced price and try and blow them out. But again, you will be making money on them if you can sell them for a little bit higher than what this is. If the market value is like one silver, and you blow these guys out and sell them in stacks of a thousand for like 60 copper, You've made a good profit because we're buying them at 24, 20. This is insanely cheap. Anything this cheap is practically being told to, uh, you know, to be bought. It's almost the same value of the NPC price because the NPC price is at 48 silver, so that's the uh, absolute lowest price that it could be worth. And this is only double that. So pretty much, whenever any item gets close to the NPC value. It is almost a great idea to stockpile it because it can't really go down any further. You can always sell it to the NPC for 48 silver. So if we do buy this, the worst case scenario is we can lose half our money. The best case scenario is we can get probably like 10 to 15 times our money if these fish prices go up like they did on the other server. If these guys go up to about 3 silver each, that's a freaking 10 times profit right there on all these worms. It's huge. So we'll have to see and take a look. And these are, are fairly hard to get um, because you only get them from seed bundles. So if people aren't farming and planting seed bundles, then you won't actually have any of these guys on the market. So you can see, we haven't even really dented the whole list yet. So it will take a couple other players to come in and kind of shift the market to really make it move. But you always want to try and be first and you know definitely try and predict the future. You can never know for certain. So 
Uh, everything else now is a little bit higher. We're going to stop there. We picked up a whole bunch at 26 copper or lower. Go we'll take a look at the fish here. And so the fish price should be fairly cheap on the server since the, the bait worm price is really, really low. So you can see the basic starfish, the crappy fish are about one silver each. There's some at four silver each. So there's only a very, very few amount at one silver each. And it looks like the real price is roughly around five silver each for those guys. Take a look at the green fish. The cheapest green fish out here is 19 silver each. Again, you need 20 of these guys to make a Dawn Lake Light Essence. So that means the Dawn Lake Essence should be worth approximately around four gold on this server. You can see. It's a decent amount on here at 20 silver. We'll quickly take a look at the rare fish. And I would expect to see these guys a little bit cheaper than that. Uh, probably around a gold or so. Yeah. So 99 gold. Gold 50. So approximately that Dawn Lake Essence is worth around 4 to 5 gold on this server. So now we'll take a look and see how much it actually is selling for. So, yeah, it's at four gold right now. So it looks like there could still be a potential play in this over here. If we are trying to, you know, use the other server as a good gauging point, the other server has the Dawn Lake Essence at eight. Each server do vary just a little bit. So you can never, you know, expect one server to be exactly the same as the other because, say, this server has no fishermen. Or, I mean, this server actually has a ton of fishermen. And they're fishing all the time. There's lots of fish out there. There's a lot of people farming those seed bundles. On the other server, there is nobody farming the seed bundles, which means the fishermen have to pay a hefty price for their bait worms to get those fish. And that raises the price of the Dawn Lake Light Essence. With more people using these guys, there will be a bigger demand coming starting tomorrow for these guys. So, again, this is a great chance possibly to buy these things up. We can buy them. You can see after two pages or so, they, they go up to around six. So there is a possibility. We're not going to buy any of these guys on this server. Uh, we already have a ton of um, other things. We're just going to keep our money in the bait worms. Because if these guys do up, go up, our bait worms are going to definitely go up. So there you have it. These are another great investing items that you could potentially make money on, uh, depending on your server. So very speculative. Most likely they are going to go up in value with the new update tomorrow.